हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी लर्न समथिंग अबाउट प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस सम बेसिक्स ऑफ प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस एंड सम कॉन्सेप्ट्स रिलेटेड टू दैट ओके व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट प्राइसेस देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ प्राइसेस वन इज सेलिंग प्राइस अदर इज कॉस्ट प्राइस कॉस्ट प्राइस इज अ प्राइस एट व्हिच द आर्टिकल इज परचेस्ड जिस प्राइस पर आर्टिकल को परचेस करते हैं उसको बोलते हैं कॉस्ट प्राइस सीपी एंड जिस प्राइस पर आर्टिकल को सेल करते हैं उसको बोलते हैं एसपी so selling price is a price on which the article is sold and cost price is a price on which the article is purchased so if i say if sp is greater than cp if selling price is greater than cost price there will be a profit or loss kisi ne article kam mein kharida aur zyada mein becha the person purchased the article in lesser price and he sold the article at higher price then there will definitely be a profit and the profit and the value of that profit will be equal to the difference between selling price and cost price sp minus cp will give you the profit simple concept what about percentage profit percentage profit is nothing but the profit as a percentage of cost price profit as a percentage of cp so profit upon cp into 100 what is profit if you replace profit by sp minus cp you will get sp minus cp upon cp into 100 sp minus cp upon cp into 100 i can write this as sp upon cp minus 1 into 100 that simply means Whatever be the ratio of SP and CP, SP upon CP का जो भी ratio होगा, you subtract one from this. SP upon CP के ratio में से minus one करके हम hundred से multiply कर देंगे, we'll get percentage profit. Okay. In second case, if I say if cost price is greater than selling price, the person purchased the article in higher price and sold the article in lesser price at lesser price. in that case there will definitely be a loss and the value of that loss will be equal to cp minus sp okay what about percentage loss same thing percentage loss is nothing but loss as a percent of cost price so we can say loss upon cp into 100 now what is loss cp minus sp upon cp into 100 or 1 minus sp upon cp into 100 fine now if you notice one thing if you refer the previous videos of percentage increase and decrease you will find out that this formula is similar to percentage increase formula what is percentage increase formula percentage increase formula is final minus initial upon initial into 100 so can i correlate percentage profit with percentage increase yes percentage profit is nothing but percentage increase where the initial value is cost price and final value is selling price so to go from cost price to selling price if i increase something by p percent i'll get profit cp ko agar hum p percent se increase karenge hame selling price milega and i can say this percentage profit is nothing but percentage increase where the initial value is cost price and final value is selling price now if i decrease the same thing by some percent we'll get the loss loss is nothing but cp minus l percent of cp will give you sp so i can correlate this thing with percentage decrease so percentage decrease means initial value minus final value upon initial value so we'll get percentage loss so loss is nothing but percentage decrease and profit is nothing but percentage increase in both the cases initial value is cost price and final value is selling price so friends we are talking about profit and loss and there are two point of views one is shopkeeper's point of view other is customer's point of view here we are talking about profit and loss and they are from shopkeeper's point of view matlab means jo bhi profit hoga वो किसके किसका प्रॉफिट होगा 
अगर कॉस्ट प्राइस ज़्यादा है सेलिंग प्राइस से या सेलिंग प्राइस ज़्यादा है कॉस्ट प्राइस से वो सेलिंग प्राइस एंड कॉस्ट प्राइस किसके रेस्पेक्ट में हम ले रहे हैं वी आर टेकिंग दीज कॉस्ट प्राइस एंड सेलिंग प्राइस विद रेस्पेक्ट टू शॉपकीपर्स इफ देर इज़ अ प्रॉफिट दे विल बी अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ शॉपकीपर इफ देर इज अ लॉस दे विल बी अ लॉस ऑफ शॉपकीपर्स तो दीज कॉस्ट प्राइस एंड सेलिंग प्राइस वी आर टेकिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू शॉपकीपर सो देर इज़ वन मोर प्राइस इफ वी टॉक अबाउट शॉपकीपर and that price you very well know is mrp that is called mark price so if i talk about discount if i talk about discount what is discount okay a shopkeeper purchases some article he marks it above the cost price jitne mein usne kharida hai definitely usse thoda upar mark karega uske baad wo usse sell karega with some सेलिंग प्राइस आफ्टर गिविंग सम डिस्काउंट सो डिस्काउंट क्या होता है जो मार्क प्राइस और सेलिंग प्राइस का डिफरेंस होता है वॉट एवर बी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मार्क प्राइस एंड सेलिंग प्राइस दैट इज कॉल्ड डिस्काउंट अगेन दीज मार्क प्राइस एंड सेलिंग प्राइस आर फ्रॉम शॉपकीपर्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो वॉट इज परसेंटेज डिस्काउंट इफ आई टॉक अबाउट डिस्काउंट वेन एवर यू डिमांड सम डिस्काउंट यू ऑलवेज डिमांड इट ऑन एम आर पी जब भी आप डिस्काउंट डिमांड करते हैं हमेशा मार्क प्राइस पर डिमांड करते हैं कि अगर मुझे 20 परसेंट डिस्काउंट चाहिए तो किसका 20 परसेंट दैट इज एम का 20 परसेंट सो वी कैन से परसेंटेज डिस्काउंट इज नथिंग बट द डिस्काउंट एज अ परसेंटेज ऑफ मार्क प्राइस सो डिस्काउंट अपॉन मार्क प्राइस इन टू हंड्रेड विल गिव यू परसेंटेज डिस्काउंट वी कैन से मार्क प्राइस माइनस सेलिंग प्राइस अपॉन मार्क प्राइस इन टू so what about discount discount is a decrease or increase discount is definitely a decrease you are decreasing mark price if you give d percent discount you decrease mark price by d percent and you get selling price so what about profit profit is percentage increase loss is percentage decrease discount is percentage decrease okay Now, if you talk about shopkeeper's point of view, definitely cost price will come first. He will purchase some article, then he will mark it above the cost price with some MRP or mark price. Then he will give some discount and sell it with some selling price. Fine. So, if I talk about this, what is the difference between CP and SP? The difference between CP and SP is profit or loss. What about the difference between mark price and selling price? As I told you, the difference between mark price and selling price is called discount. What about the difference between CP and mark price? What about the difference between cost price and mark price? Cost price or mark price ka difference kya hota hai? CP SP ka difference ho gaya profit ya loss. Mark price selling price ka difference ho gaya discount. बट कॉस्ट प्राइस और मार्क प्राइस का डिफरेंस को क्या बोलते हैं तो इसको बोलते हैं हम मार्कअप मार्कअप प्राइस इज नथिंग बट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मार्क प्राइस एंड कॉस्ट प्राइस सो डेफिनेटली वेन एवर और शॉपकीपर परचेजेस सम आर्टिकल ही विल मार्केट अब द कॉस्ट प्राइस सो मार्क प्राइस विल बी मोर देन कॉस्ट प्राइस सो मार्कअप इज नथिंग बट मार्क प्राइस माइनस कॉस्ट प्राइस परसेंटेज मार्कअप इज नथिंग बट मार्कअप मतलब मार्क प्राइस माइनस कॉस्ट प्राइस एज अ परसेंटेज ऑफ कॉस्ट प्राइस सो वॉट अबाउट मार्कअप मार्कअप इज अ परसेंटेज इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज मार्कअप इज नथिंग बट इंक्रीज सो इफ यू कैन कोरिलेट दीज थिंग्स विथ परसेंटेज इंक्रीजेज एंड डिक्रीजेज प्रॉफिट इज परसेंटेज इंक्रीज लॉस इज परसेंटेज डिक्रीज डिस्काउंट इज परसेंटेज डिक्रीज एंड मार्कअप इज परसेंटेज इंक्रीज so if you can correlate profit loss discount and markup with percentage increase and decrease it will be very easy to solve a problem you do not need to memorize all these formula you have to simply memorize this thing this thing only you have to simply memorize profit is percentage increase loss is percentage decrease discount is percentage decrease and markup is percentage increase and you can apply the concept of percentage increase and decrease to calculate anything in the question so you can apply the concepts of percentage increase and decrease to calculate anything which is asked in the question so friends here are some basic questions the first question is 
if CP is 400, percent is profit is 20 percent, find profit and SP means selling price. So we will simply apply the concept of percentage increase and decrease to solve these problems and without using any formula. You know CP is the initial value and SP is the final value. So CP is given as 400 and you know the profit is 20% and you know percentage profit is nothing but percentage increase. So we can say there is 20% increase. So if there is 20% increase, what is 20% of 400? First you calculate 10%. What is 10% of 400? That is 40. 20% will be 80. So if you add 80 to this, the selling price will be 400 plus 80, simply 480. So 480 is the selling price and 80 rupees is the profit. So it's very simple. Let's look at the second question. You know CP, CP is not known. SP is known to you, SP is 500. And you know there is profit of 25%. As I told you in the video of percentage increase and decrease, what is the multiplying factor of 25%? You know, 25% is 1 by 4. If you increase something by 25%, you will say 1 plus 1 by 4, that is nothing but 5 by 4. That means to go forward, you have to multiply by 5 by 4. If you go, if you want to go backward, you have to multiply by the reverse, that is 4 by 5. This thing I have told you earlier, so 4 by 5 of 500 or you can simply divide this thing by 1.25 that is the multiplication factor for 25% increase. So it will be 4 by 5 of 500 is simply 400 and what is the difference between SP and CP that is 100. So 100 rupees profit and CP is simply 400. Let's look at the third question. Profit is 200 and you know percentage profit is 20% you have to find cost price and selling price. As you know 200 is the profit which is 20% of what? 20% of CP. So we can simply say 20% of CP is 200. So definitely 20%, you know, 20% is 1 by 5 of CP is 200. It implies CP will be 200 into 5. CP is 1000. If CP is 1000 and profit is 200, so we can say SP will be 1000 plus profit, profit means increase, so that's why we are adding 1200, fine. If you look at the last question, CP is unknown, SP is known and this is something related to loss. 270 is the selling price. You know loss, loss is percentage decrease, so there is a decrease of 10%. Okay, as I told you earlier in the percentage increase and decrease video, there is a loss of 10%. That means the value is decreased by 10%. If you remove 10% from something, what percent is left? You know, 90%. So we can say multiplication factor for minus 10% is simply 0.9, as I told you earlier. So to go backward, you have to divide this value by 0.9. So we can say the initial value, that is CP, will be 270 upon 0 0.9. We can say it is nothing but 300. So 300 is the cost price, 300 mein humne article kharida 270 mein becha, we purchased this article in 300 and we sold this article at 270, so what is the loss? There is a 30 rupees loss, so there is a 30 rupees loss, so cost price is 300 and loss is 30 rupees. So friends, in this video, we saw how can we solve the problems of profit and loss without using any formula, so you have to keep that in mind. Profit is percentage increase, loss is percentage decrease, discount is percentage decrease and markup is percentage increase. If you keep these things in mind, you can apply the concept of percentage increase and decrease in every question of profit and loss. So we saw some basic questions based on profit and loss in the next video, in the upcoming video, we will see some more questions, some difficult questions based on profit and loss. Thank you for watching. Hello friends, today we will learn something about profit and loss, some basics of profit and loss and some concepts related to that. Okay, when we talk about prices, there are two types of prices, one is selling price, other is cost price. Cost price is a price 
एट विच द आर्टिकल इज परचेस्ड जिस प्राइस पर आर्टिकल को परचेज करते हैं उसको बोलते हैं कॉस्ट प्राइस सी पी एंड जिस प्राइस पर आर्टिकल को सेल करते हैं उसको बोलते हैं एस पी सो सेलिंग प्राइस इज अ प्राइस ऑन विच द आर्टिकल इज सोल्ड एंड कॉस्ट प्राइस इज अ प्राइस ऑन विच द आर्टिकल इज परचेस्ड सो इफ आई से इफ एस पी इज ग्रेटर देन सी पी If selling price is greater than cost price, there will be a profit or loss. किसी ने आर्टिकल कम में खरीदा और ज़्यादा में बेचा The person purchased the article in lesser price and he sold the article at higher price. Then there will definitely be a profit and the profit and the value of that profit will be equal to the difference between selling price and cost price. SP minus CP will give you the profit. Simple concept. What about percentage profit? Percentage profit is nothing but the profit as a percentage of cost price. Profit as a percentage of CP. So profit upon CP into hundred. What is profit? If you replace profit by SP minus CP, you will get SP minus CP upon CP into hundred. SP minus CP upon CP into 100. I can write this as SP upon CP minus 1 into 100. That simply means whatever be the ratio of SP and CP. SP upon CP ka jo bhi ratio hoga, you subtract 1 from this. SP upon CP ke ratio mein se minus 1 karke hum 100 se multiply kar denge. We'll get percentage profit. Okay. In second case, if I say if cost price is greater than selling price the person purchased the article in higher price and sold the article in lesser price at lesser price in that case there will definitely be a loss and the value of that loss will be equal to cp minus sp okay what about percentage loss same thing percentage loss is nothing but loss as a percent of cost price so we can say loss upon cp into 100 now what is loss cp minus sp upon 